Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about jobs, what you can do with them, what jobs are there, and what can you benefit from them. Right here, right now, at this very moment in time, the Scavenger Network. I don't want to set the world on fire. Now that intro was made by me, and I just want to put it out there for you guys to like. Now, take the look. Take, take, take a look at the picture in the background. It is um, a bounty hunter slash mercenary slash whatever you want to call him um, in the background. Now, I just found this on Google Images. Um, I hope I'm not ripping anything off. I did search in concept art and I looked at it, looked at the description, could not find the writer. But whoever you are, I give props to you, sir. It looked very, very cool. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make a job description for the. Mercenary slash bounty hunter. Now, mercenary and bounty bounty hunter are very different things, to say the least. Um, at, to say the most, they are similar. Now, what I'm trying to say, um, here is the bounty hunter and mercenary. Now, the bounty hunter gets paid to find relics. Uh, not 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 relics. Bounty hunter gets paid to take out a single enemy or a single group of enemies. Now, a mercenary, however has usually has a team behind them. Um, it's a mercenary leader, then, you know, so on and so on. So, bounty hunter is one man, and mercenary are many. Okay, now there are some mercenaries that go in alone, but usually if you if you see mercenaries, it's going to be a lot of mercenaries. Not uh, They kind of go in a group. Now, a bounty hunter takes a, gets paid, does the job and then gets paid at the end, obviously. However... It depends on what job it is. Now, can you make jobs in games to put on um, other players, and then it will come up on the bounty hunter record? Now, if that person completes the bounty, then you give them the amount of money that you were going to give, and you can only give them a, a reasonable amount. Say, if that person has five hundred or eight thousand dollars, or whatever you want to call it, of you know money on their head, and you send someone else to go get them, well. Most likely, they're going to do it and not fail. Now, what's even better about the bounty hunters is that they get the cool ships. I mean, take Star Wars, the Millennium Falcon. That ship is awesome. It looks amazing. And yes, he is a bounty hunter. Um, he even said it, I think, in a interview. I don't know. I don't know if I can find it. if I if I can, then it might pop up like right now. But if I can't find the interview, I said that in. I'm sorry. But I think there was an interv uh, interview of Harrison Ford, and, and he said, "All from all he can tell is that he plays a bounty hunter. Now, bounty hunter, yes, that is kind of what he is in Star Wars, but off of Star Wars, we're in Star Citizen. And a bounty hunter, you're going to get the cool ship, you're going to know, you're going to get the bounty hunter clothing. You're going to try to look the part. If you're going to become a bounty hunter, you're, you're going to look like Han Solo, Han Solo, <laughs> Han Solo, or any other bounty hunter that... That's on a TV show, movie, game, anything like that. You're going to try to look like them at most. Unless you're going to cr create your own story. Now remember, I've said that Star Citizen is like a second life and it kind of is now. The reason why I'm saying that is, for one, there's jobs. For two, if you have ever wanted to live in the future like I do, this is going to be the closest you're ever going to get. It has the most realistic gameplay ever for the future. Um, besides Star Trek Online, which wasn't even that... It wasn't even that... Um, uh, I, I, I would rate Star Trek Online maybe like an 8 or a 7, um, but that's just me. Now, back to Star Citizen again. Um, you have first person shooter, you have ground, you have space station, you have your ship, you have clothing, food, um, drugs, water, drinks, all that, beverages, keyboards, TVs, TV shows, um, different planets to explore, different aliens to find, um, weapons, but, and the weapon category goes from, you know, Machine gun, sniper rifle, um, knives, swords, I, I don't know, grenades, I, I don't even know if there are knives and swords, I'm pretty sure there's knives, I'm not sure about swords, if there are swords, that would be epic, and I would love this game even more. Now, back to the bounty hunter, now, once you become a bounty hunter, what does that unlock for you, what can you do? Well, when you become a bounty hunter on this game, I am pretty sure you're going to... Uh, them start bounty hunting. What bounty hunting is, is someone requests you to do a job, you go out and do that job, and then you get paid at the end of the day. That is bounty That is bounty hunting now. Let me go to wiki, 
Now, wiki is always good for this stuff. You're going to go to Wikipedia and you're going to type in bounty hunting. So, bounty hunting. Or more, no, no, no. We're going to go bounty, yes, bounty hunter. A bounty hunter captured fugitives for monetary rewards, bounty. Other, other professional names mainly used in the United States include bail enforcement, bail enforcement agent, bail agent, recovery agent, or bail recovery agent or fugitive recovery agent now sometimes such a person is referred to as a bounty killer if a murder is required to collect the bounty now of course we all know that han solo is a bounty killer but he's also a bounty hunter so what can you classify as yourself now i'm pretty sure they're not going to call you a bounty killer um as you know it's a it's a it's a simulator it's a space simulator you get to do what you want but you have but you have to do it correctly now what i'm saying is that you're going to be able to go to any planet you're you're going to be free you're going to be able to do whatever you want however you're going to have to do whatever you want correctly there's no screw ups or you die now yes you're like okay that's like any other game if i don't do something correctly i'm going to die yes that is true but this is way worse you lose all the stuff that you have on your person and you lose your ship if you do not have insurance that makes that means you have to make sure that you have insurance that's why when any deal like the um, reclaimer is out it has unlimited insurance forever that's because it's a big ship it's gonna be attacked a lot it's gonna it's gonna blow up a lot if you do not put money into it and that's what this is another thing that I'm saying you can't mess up with the G's Reclaimer if you do not have long insurance. If you do not have lifelong insurance and you blow up, well, you're going to have to pay a lot of money to get it back. A lot of money. And your insurance is not going to cover it. Now, again, I'm pretty sure you will be able to pay real money to recover your ship if you blow it up or break it or anything like that. However, will you be able to get all the stuff inside of it? I don't know. That They, they didn't specify on the insurance. I'll have to look into that and make a video on it. Um, but away from that, the bounty hunting. Um, you're going to be able to travel around planets. Obviously, we already know that. We already know. We already know what it's doing. So whatever the case. Now, um, what am I trying to say? Okay, <laughs> I just got I just got confused for a second. Now, even though you are going to be able to travel around planets, you're also going to you're also going to get killed a lot if you not do it right now. This thing. Space Star Citizen comes with a very, very advanced movement system, as they have already said. I think they've already said that anyways. I could be mistaken. But they I'm pretty sure they said it with an advanced movement system. Now, if you go to the FPS trailer, you can see the movement system, how the guy crouches. Now, um, that is a cinematic shot that is not real gameplay, so maybe your guy goes into a cinematic shot where your body parts, your your character just hits the wall, Okay. Yes, and it's like in Gears of War. That is that is the that's a perfect example. Um, you know, the guy crouches down, runs at a low speed or a high speed, and hits the wall. Um, however, this could be more realistic as if you're going to sell. What I'm telling you to do is you're going to go over to a wall, stand at about a 45 degree angle, and then walk up to it and crouch down like someone just saw you, or like you're an agent or CIA agent or whatever. Make sure you crouch down as like like you're gonna really do if you're going to try to limp against the wall if you're getting gunfired at or whatever now take that what you just did and put it into a game now if you did it and it felt awesome it felt amazing then it's probably going to look awesome and amazing in game i hope hopefully they do that that would be amazing now to the back to the bounty hunting um what kind of bounties can you get well for one, it's going to be cash money. Obviously, they all, they have to do that. Not real, not real cash. Um, in-game cash. I meant there is a game where you, if you do something in the game, you can trade it for a lot of money. Like I'm saying, a lot of money outside of the game. Real, real money that you can hold in your hand. United States dollars, USD. You can spend that on whatever you want in real life. I'm saying, if you want to spend it back on the game, that's fine. But you can go out and get, you can get a different graphics card, different monitor, a different computer for all you want. It just depends on how much money you got. But the bounty hunting, um, you, maybe you can get weapons. I'm not sure about that. Um, it does not say in here if you can get weapons or not. Um, I wish it did, but it did not say. It is. It does not specify on any job yet. So we are still in the dark about that. Um, so yeah, we are still waiting for that, but to the bounty hunting, um, you know that I, you know that I love this game, I, I love, I, it's just amazing, it's my second life, I spend money on this, 
I mean, I told you I spent two hundred fifty-eight dollars, however much was on a graphics card, just to play this game. Now you're thinking that well, you're an idiot for doing that. No, I'm not. This thing is a second life. You need to spend money on it. Well, now, um, the bounty hunting is a very cool idea. Now, I like the idea that you're going to be able to fly around a ship, collect enemies, kill them, whatever, and then get paid for that. That would be amazing, but I'm not sure about the payment. I know you're going to be able to kill people. I'm not sure about players. I'm not sure about AI. We don't know yet, but it's one of the two. It's either players or AI. Um, now, AI is artificial intelligence. That means it can be ships, people, on planets. Um, maybe you can blow up a planet. <laughs> I don't know, but yes. Um, that's what it's going to be now. Player thing. How would that work out? Now, if you put a bounty on the player and they don't like that, then maybe they just go offline. What they're going to, what they're going to have to do at Star Citizen or at CGI or CIG. No, it's, it's CGI. I don't know. No, it's CIG. I don't know. CIG. Yes. Yes. CIG. <laughs> what they're going to have to do there is they're going to make it to where even if the player logs offline, when they get back on, they're still going to have the bounty on them. And they have to make that good so no one can, like, trick it, trick the system or something like that. They were going to make it very nice and precise. Now, can you make a different character? Can you have a bounty hunter that's bad or a bounty hunter that's good or what? We don't know that yet. We, it does not specify. Um, and, a lot of people were, and a lot of people kept telling me that the hangar module is where the game starts. You have to look like the character that make you know. Chris Roberts said that you will be able to create your own character. And, yes, so... We're going to be able to make our own character, so we're, if you want a bounty hunter to look like you, you have that option. I'm not sure how wide of a, ran of a range the character creation is going to be, but, you know, look at the simulator. I'm pretty sure it's going to be more huge than any other game before. I'm not sure. Please don't pester me with that. Now, moving on with that, there is a lot of other stuff to cover here, a lot of other stuff with the bounty hunting, like... The weapons, are there, are, are there going to be spe specific weapons um, put towards the bounty hunters or ships? No, as you, um, Chris Roberts has stated in the past that you will have your own ship and your own weapons and everyone can get that ship and weapons. Now, everything is open. Nothing is a pay to get this or pay to do that or you have to be this specific job to do that. Now, in real life, maybe in the future, no. If you're a bounty hunter, you get a class ship, but you get to customize it to put weapons on and all that. However, the ships on here already come with weapons. Every single one of them come with weapons. There's not one that does not come with weapons. Um, now, to be 100% sure, I'm still not positive, but to be 100% sure, go look. And I'm pretty sure every single ship that's on here on there has weapons, even the racers. Um... But yes, go look to make sure that I am not wrong, and if I input it down in the comments, um, like that. But, I, okay, going off the bounty hunting real quick, before we actually go, actually before we go off the bounty hunt, bounty hunting, I would like to say that there is no 100% certainty about ev about anything I'm saying, except for the stuff that I said Chris Roberts said, which one of them I am not certain with. But nothing is certain. I do not know how the bounty hunting will work or anything like that. I'm going off speculation and by other games and by a common sense about how bounty hunting works. Will, do I know if bounty hunting will be fun? No. Do I know that I will be able to go around the galaxy chasing real, um, real players or AI? No. Will it be specified weapons or classes or what or ships to the bounty hunters? Yes, I do know that. He, Chris Roberts has already confirmed that. So it's a no, yes, no, yes game. It's kind of a pattern. No, no, yes. No, no, yes. No, no, yes. No, no, yes. However, the bad thing is that is that there's more no's than yeses. So still, we're kind of in the negatives with this. We are not 50-50. We're more 30. We're more, I don't know, 30, 80, 30, 70. I'm, I'm talking really fast. Can't think. Can't process. I have Asperger's and ADHD, so that's terrible. Not really, because, you know, yeah. However, because of my Asperger's, I dig into this stuff on games and try to find the most secret stuff I can find on them, and that's why, that's why I report them to you guys. If you met me in real life, I would be the shyest person you've ever met, ever, ever. Okay, maybe not the shyest person, that's kind of over-exaggerating it, but I would still be shy, and you, you would have to give me some time to warm up to you. Um, I'm just one of those people that likes to do that. So yeah. Anyways, 
Um, thank you guys for watching. I again, I'm not 100% certain on the bounty hunting things. I've said in this video, except the ones I've already confirmed were true. Um, so yes, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe um, below. I'm hoping to for the next video to be on mercenaries, which will be very fun. Mercenaries. Like I said, aren't that different from bounty hunters, but there are still some differentials, and I'll have to classify bounty hunter from mercenary and tell you what would be different in game. Now, again, mercenary, I won't know 100% certain on anything, but yes. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Comment down below if you want a qu if you want me to answer a question about Star Citizen or about me in general. And make sure to like the video, it helps out a lot. If you're a fellow YouTuber, you know what it does. It promotes your videos gets them and gets them a higher rank. And remember to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all the upcoming Star Citizen videos. Ones like this and the Mercenary video. So, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.